Hello dear friends, welcome to our channel Organized by Dorsey. I am so excited that you're here today. We're starting a brand new series on decluttering, cleaning and organizing the bathrooms. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Darcy and I do weekly organizational videos here on this channel. I'd love for you to become a member of our family here. Just by pressing that subscribe button below, you automatically become a member of our family. And by pressing the bell icon, which is right beside the subscribe button, you'll be one of the first to be notified when new videos are uploaded weekly. Now, let's get started in cleaning the bathrooms. Come with me. Welcome to bathroom number one. In the interest of time, I've already cleaned the ceiling with this mop here. And I've also cleaned the interior of the shower area. So those are two areas that are already done. Area number three will be the toilet bowl and number four will be the sink. So first let me spray the, the toilet bowl. But before I do that, let me show you what's in my caddy. I have all the cleaning products that I will need to do a deep clean for this bathroom. I have multi-purpose cleaner, I have paper towel, paper cloth, I have um, cleaner for the Windex cleaner, I have all the um, scrub brushes that I need and of course I'm going to start right now with the toilet bowl. So the very first thing I'm going to do with this bowl is I'm going to spray this Lysol Power Toilet Bowl Cleaner in and it requires according to the, the instructions for me to leave the seat open for 15 minutes so I'm spraying it in all over and then I'm going to leave the seat up for 15 minutes while I do the other cleaning in the bathroom. So 15 minutes have gone by and now I'm going to be using the regular toilet brush here and cleaning the inside of this toilet bowl. And while that is dripping, I'm going to use just a regular rag, an old piece of cloth, and I'm going to wipe down the area. This is something that I will use and throw away. So I'm not going to keep this. I'm just going to throw it away when I'm through. So I'm going all the way down scrubbing with this piece of cloth. So cleaned all the way around. And I'm ready to throw it out. So not just And this second rag, I'm just going to throw it away. So there it is, really nice and clean. Now I'm going to be doing the sink area. 
I'm going to spray with a multi-purpose spray. And if you notice, I do have candle lit. So while I'm cleaning, I can have this nice aroma here in the bathroom. So with an old toothbrush, I'm going to clean all the areas here. Back and forth. As I clean away, I can see where the rust and all that ugly stuff is going away, so that's good. And I'll finish up this cleaning and then clean off the counter here as well. This is not as bad as far as, because there's no water that gets to this area, so it's dry. But this area that has um, water from time to time, it gets a little bit rust. And so I've just wiped off that entire area with an old toothbrush without, of course, throw out as soon as I do this deep cleaning in here. So this is what this bathroom looks like after it has been cleaned and organized. The shower area is cleaned. The ceiling, which was the first area to be cleaned, is cleaned. You hop over to the sink here, which is very clean and organized. The floor is also so let's hop over to bathroom number two. I must admit, this is the bathroom that required a little bit more attention. Bathroom number two is going to be really, really easy because that one um, doesn't require as much cleaning as this one did. So we'll go over and see what that looks like right now. We are in bathroom number two. As you can see, I've taken the candle from the other bathroom over for the nice aroma. This bathroom does not require much cleaning. As you can see, it's very, very clean already. And so I'm not going to be doing much in terms of deep cleaning because that was done um, prior and um, it's hardly ever used, so it stays um, really nice. So I'm just gonna do a light cleaning in here. I'm going to do the toilet area, the sink, is already clean. Um, the tub is um, very, very clean. Doesn't get much use in here, so I'm not going to spend any time with the tub, just the toilet and the counter. So I'll still do the Lysol spray in here, leave it in for 15 minutes with the lid open, and then I'll do the other cleaning. Then we'll just take a look at the final product.
So I've just sprayed in um, the toilet bowl cleaner and I'm waiting for the 15 minutes. I think it's almost 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go through and clean this area as well. Leave that to dry for a couple minutes and then I will wipe it down as we did the first bathroom, all the corners, all the areas, and then we will um, be all done. Very, very easy. This bathroom is the, perhaps the, one of the easiest ones to clean around here. So this bathroom number two, I'm just using some um, hand wipes to clean the sink here. As it is really clean already. So this is the final product of bathroom number two, all cleaned, not deep cleaned because there wasn't much to do, but um, still very clean and organized. So today we cleaned two bathrooms and next Friday we'll continue the series, decluttering, cleaning and organizing the bathrooms. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next Friday in our next video. Goodbye and of course, good luck.